Good morning, everyone. Another amazing, magical morning here on board the Disney Fantasy. Going up, getting breakfast at Cabana's. Might get off immediately after. Might make a quick pit stop at the room first. Head out to Falmouth, Jamaica. See what the day has in store for us. Let's go. All right, guys. So Ash did the what was it called? The art of the the art of the theme tour on the cruise the other day, and they showed her this. All right. So these are the deck 11 aft elevators. Take you up to Cabanas. Go up these stairs, like as you're heading up to deck 12, and you reach this painting, right, of Remy and Emil overlooking Paris. The shadows of Remy and Emil. All the way over here, you get Walt and Mickey. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, look, I'm a huge fan of Hidden Mickeys, huge. That one is spectacular. Breakfast with a view. You can't beat it. I'm not drinking that warm butter, milk, whatever, whatever. All right, guys. We made a quick little pit stop at our room. I came, I picked up my GoPro, it's in here, just in case because uh, time isn't looking that good out there and uh, it might start to rain. So it starts to rain, putting away the M50, bringing out the GoPro. But other than that, let's go and enjoy our time here in Falmouth, Jamaica. So we're back on the ship, obviously. Uh, rain started getting pretty bad. I took out the GoPro only to come to realize that I forgot to charge the GoPro. Yeah, I'm a disaster. But anyway, check this out. Guys. There's a wedding going on in the atrium. Do you know how it must be to get married? on board a Disney cruise. Talk about happily ever after, huh? Just amazing. Technically, that's the first wedding I've ever been to. Yeah. But uh, I gotta say this. I don't think there's a place more beautiful to get married. Than right here. Wow. All right, guys, so we just got back to the room. We're going to, are we gonna change for pirate night now? Yes. Not now. Okay, so regardless of whether we change right now or not, they already brought us the bandanas. Tonight is pirate night. You're gonna have pirate show, pirate menu at Animator's Palette, and we're gonna get to see fireworks, which is gonna be awesome. Hopefully the ship doesn't move too much this time because we'll see what the night has in store for us. Check this place out. Right now, deck 12. Uh, I'm just gonna get some ice cream, then we're gonna head down, I believe, to La Piazza or, yeah, La Piazza, and we're gonna watch some Disney charade. But I just wanted to say something real quick. Out of the three foreign ports that we've come to so far, uh, Cozumel, Grand Cayman Island, Georgetown, and Falmouth, Jamaica, Falmouth, Jamaica has to be the most beautiful one of them all. It was really nice down there, it is amazing, and that view of the mountains in the distance, that is really, really, really nice. It's always to the side. I can never, I can never just get it right, man. All right, guys. So we're in the piazza. 
and we're going to watch Disney charades. Now, whether or not we actually participate, that's still up for debate. Story is going to be Disney films. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, this is where we need to agree. Are Marvel movies okay? Yes. 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 So, obviously, all Disney animated movies are going to be okay. All the way from Snow White up till the last one, which was Frozen 2. Now, Marvel movies, we're gonna agree they're okay. Oh. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know, they were me. I know. They're playing, they're playing hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the movie. Oh gosh. Which one is it? Oh, oh, you picked the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, they gave him the hardest one first. Dog, stop. Go, Ty. How many words? Beauty and the Beast. Flowers. <laughs> it looks like a chicken feeding on us. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Treasure plant? Treasure plant. You're wow. missing two letters. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Wally. What? Listen, listen to me. But listen to me. But listen to I knew, but the thing is, I knew before he even did anything. Once he said one ish, I'm like, okay, it has a dash, it's probably Wally. Oh, I, 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 that's, that's already there. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> That is the best charade I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that charade was just way too fun. All right, I didn't know if we were gonna participate or not, but I'm glad we did because it was just hilarious, honestly. But now we're gonna do Pixar trivia. Now here, I don't know if we're gonna win or not. That is gonna be difficult. You know what? Why not? We're gonna do the full trivia because this trivia is called through the years. So we're gonna start in the year 1995 and then we're gonna come all the way to the year 2019. So number one, the year is 1995. This film, which in many ways started it all, told a story that went to infinity and beyond. The year is 1996. Which of the following Academy Award nominations were received for Toy Story? Number 14. The year is 2008. Like all of us. <laughs> Wally, by the way. Like all of us, Wally loves a good movie musical. Which of the following is his favorite? Alright guys, so today is pirate night. So we're back in the room. We're gonna get changed. See you guys right about now. Truly in the spirit right now. Pirate's life for me. Let's head down. We're gonna meet some characters and enjoy the night. Hello, there's me. How are you doing? Hi. Hello, Captain. Looking fabulous as always. It's <laughs> me. <laughs> hey, Mickey. How are you? You are looking amazing. Yeah, I have you here on a shirt. What better way to honor the pirate night than with you? And check it out. Man, you are you are rocking this pirate look. Look at that. Of course. Yes. Hi Mickey. Donald. How are you doing, pal? How are you? Hey, I know I have Mickey on my shirt, but hey, I promise you're still number one. 
okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's okay, Donald. We are, you are number one. I promise. You are number one. Yes. You always will be, all right? I promise. Okay. I promise. It's goofy. How are you doing? <laughs> Goofy, you are looking as fabulous as always. Stitch! <laughs> How are you? You are looking fabulous, Stitch. How's it smell, pal? Hey, no, 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 no. He's got some sort of other experiment sitting on top of his camera. What is that guy? It doesn't bite, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. He put an eye on you. <laughs> hey Minnie! You look absolutely stunning. You truly look like a princess pirate. You really do. That is amazing. Hi Minnie! Alright guys, so I know that you just got like bombardment of, of character interactions just there it's just uh, for pirate night all the different characters dressed up in their pirate uniforms and it is just it is yeah I was finally able to meet stitch I think this is the first time I ever meet stitch I mean it's stitch is my favorite character it's between stitch and genie actually but it's, it's close I think stitch is winning right now and just being able to beat him in that pirate costume, that is just amazing. So now I'm gonna head up to the room. I'm putting on eyeliners to look more piratey. Yes, that's happening. But after that, I I don't know. I really don't know. We're moving. We left. Uh, found with Jamaica already. The ship's moving like crazy right now. Like standing in the atrium, it was just like, let, let me give you a description. Just, just wah, and then wah. Yeah, that's the ship. That's what the ship's been doing for a while now, ever since we left. All right, guys, we got the eyeliner running. I got my medallion. I completely forgot that I had this. Just completely forgot. Now, I'm ready for pirate night. All right, guys. So uh, we're grabbing a quick bite to eat, and uh, what's more fitting for pirates than chicken tenders, huh? Alright guys, we finished our chicken tenders and now we're heading to Sweet On You. I want to be wanting to try this for some time now. I haven't gone to it just yet. Now I am. That candy explosion gelato looks awesome. Banana and dulce de leche gelato. Banana y mami, hay uno de banana y dulce de leche. Egg, unicorn vanilla gelato just looks like an explosion of flavor and colors. Alright guys, there is an enormous selection. So I tried a couple of flavors and all of them were spectacular. The Sour Patch ice cream, Sour Patch Kids ice cream was... Wow, it was really good. Interesting because it's, it still has a little bit of that sour from the Sour Patch Kids in there and it's interesting but I went with banana and dulce de leche Once I read the name, I knew that most likely that was gonna be the one I was gonna get It is spectacular This is some of the best ice cream I've ever had ever Now Ash also got the banana and dulce de leche Put whipped cream and chocolate sauce on top I need to give this a try. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's a lot. Stealing my ice cream. I would give you some of mine, but it's the same. Yep. It is. It is really good with that chocolate sauce. But you know what? I'll be fine. I'm, I'll be fine with just it alone, honestly. That was spectacular. I have to say that ice cream was amazing. And one thing that I really haven't talked about. But it is such an important factor in cruising is the customer service and the crew that is here. Oh my god, there is a, a lot of wind up here. The wind is crazy up here. Never mind. Go. Ah. Forget it, go back down. Ah. Ah. I don't want to fly away. Back to what I was saying. Oh 
Oh my god. I, I, I'm being so distracted, but check this out. I don't know if the full moon is tonight or tomorrow, but wow, that is stunning. But anyway, back to what I was saying for the third time, okay. The crew and the customer service that you get here on board the Disney ship is spectacular. It is just on a whole nother level. They talk to you, they get to know you, they do everything in their power to make sure that you are having the best vacation ever. And I am. And they are a huge factor in this. Now, the, sh uh, the pool is closed. Because right now, uh, around uh, half an hour from now, I think, we are going to have Mickey's Pirate something. I'm not good with names or remembering names, but it is one of the two shows that you're gonna have on board. First one is just like a dance party and how to join Mickey's crew. The next one is revolving around Pirates of the Caribbean. You're gonna have Jack Sparrow, you're gonna have pirates, you're gonna have fireworks. But that one is at 10.30, so that one's gonna be after dinner. So yeah, guys, the, uh, the wind's a bit brutal right now. I mean, it's like you just stand on the 12th deck and it's, it's like a hurricane out there but um we're gonna head in right now wait for the show and hope that the wind goes down because um, if it doesn't that could mean no fireworks which would kind of suck but there's nothing we could do to control the weather all right guys so we're about to walk into the walt disney theater um it's a guy named Max Winfrey, if I'm mistaken. And he's doing something called physical comedy. Um, don't know what that means. So, probably gonna figure that out right now. The show has already started. So, um, gonna walk in there. Can't record. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. They found my lens cap. So, yay. All right, heading in right now. See you guys a little later. All right, guys, that was actually pretty cool. The guy is epic. He does juggling. You know, that's kind of the gist of what I got. Juggling, unicycles, things like that. It was actually pretty cool. He actually owns, I don't know if he still does, but he said that he broke the world record for most axe juggles. That is insane. Uh, something I would never, ever try in my life, ever. Uh, mainly for the fact that I don't know how to juggle. Um, no, I think I was cool. He was awesome. Now we're making our way up to deck 12. Yeah, deck 12. To watch Mickey's Pirate something. So guys, I know that as a first time cruiser, I actually shouldn't be giving many tips to this. But one thing that I have picked up from other people and experiencing firsthand with the sail away party is don't go to deck 11 to watch the stage shows come up to deck 12 to one of these balconies because check out the view that i have i'm right next to the stage and i my view isn't blocked at all now if you're down there yeah you, you get to have the privilege of saying you're right on the floor and maybe the screen will look better maybe you will have people dancing right next to you but your view might be obstructed. So um, it's just something to keep in mind and an option that you have whenever there's a stage show up here. Whether it's the Sail Away Party, it's this Mickey uh, uh, Pirate Show. I have to know the name. I haven't picked up on the name yet. Or if it's the Pirates of the Caribbean show on the fireworks. to once again be unfurled and flying high over pirate waters. <laughs> Time to band together and welcome the most adventurous swashbucklers ever to sail the seven seas. And the most fun bunch of pirates I know. Please welcome Mickey's Pirate Parade.
accept and seize and want your richest reward. Look at the It is I, the new caretaker and overseer of this fine vessel. <laughs> Simply put, this ship is mine! <laughs> Mr. Smee, status report. I, Captain, all loose ends are tied up. So to speak. <laughs> the ship is now yours to do with as she please. Now listen here, Hook. You may have the upper hand, or a pawn, but this is our ship, and I intend to get it back with a captain's challenge. Lost that pirate crew. This must be test this so-called pirate crew. Just one itsy bitsy wrong answer, and he wants a flag. Ah, look down these swamps. Now, the first thing any real pirate knows is that when a captain gives you an order or asks you a question, what do you say? Big time rookie mistake. In the middle of the show, my camera's battery died. Well, it's always a good thing to carry an extra battery with you, right? Well, I did, and turns out that one also did not have any battery in it. I recorded the second half of the show with my phone. Hopefully it sounds good, it looked good. Well, anyway, besides the lack of preparation for my part, we got Palo Brunch. Yep. Yeah. So, um, our dinner tonight is an animator's palette. <sighs> That's the line. This is Royal Court. That was the line to get into animator's palette. So, an animator's palette right now, it is Pirates Theme. And check this out, guys. The concept art that they're showing on the design, it, it, it's the concept art for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. That is so awesome. 
Very good. Jamaica. We're a little banged up because we did done for our small. Yes. It's been a busy day. Alright guys, so the napkin is a little perch. Check out the menu. I am loving this. No, they have Captain Hook on all right guys, appetizer number one is the crab cake. So let's give it a try. All right guys, so crab cake, very good. It literally tastes like crab that was breaded. That's, I mean, that's what it should be, but that's what it tastes like. So it comes with this Cajun remoulade sauce that comes with it. Let's, um, let's give it a try with that. So this is very good. Uh, it kind of tastes like a spicy sriracha mayo type thing going on with it with a couple of Cajun spices here and there. With the crab cake, it is spectacular. I mean, that's the way to go. I am all for this. All right, look, I think that Treasure Planet is the most underrated Disney film of all time with Brother Bear a close second. It doesn't get the love it deserves. This is awesome. All right, guys, so this has to be the weirdest thing that I've ever ordered, right? This is a chilled mango soup. Yes, mango. It has mango, passion fruit, ginger, and coconut. It was so weird. And I was so confused seeing it as an appetizer that I had to get it, obviously. Let's give it a try. This is good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's just weird thinking that you're drinking like, it's like a mango yogurt, but it's like a soup. It's, it's confusing. It is so weird, but it's actually really, really good. Um, it is... I mean, it tastes like mango yogurt, like a mango smoothie, mango yogurt, but like, but not really liquidy. It has like the consistency of like, of like lobster bisque. And then, I mean, there's like a hint of ginger. I don't know where the passion fruit and coconut went, but they're not here. It tastes like mango with, with ginger, but hey, it tastes good. <laughs> All right, guys, so for my entree, I ordered the jerk chicken. Uh, ignore the fact that the rice is destroyed. I promise I didn't. Yeah, I tried it already. Um, yeah, it's actually very good rice, but I haven't tried the chicken, you see? I remember right before I was gonna try it. <laughs> Whoa, let's give it a try. Whoa, I love the chicken. It is cooked perfectly. It is actually a really big piece of chicken as well. The, 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 the jerk sauce that it comes with it, it's, it's not spicy. It's, it's perfect, honestly. It is, it is spectacular. Glad with my choice. This was awesome. I love this so much. So guys, I ordered the bananas in paradise and uh, eating this I truly am in paradise. Let's give it a try. Alright guys, so this is really good. I feel like the best way to describe this is it tastes like carrot cake with banana and like chocolate balls on top honestly that's the best way I could explain it which I mean I like all three things so this is a win-win-win for me it's good all right guys we're done with dinner another excellent dinner at animators palette I loved looking around seeing all the different concept art for the different pirates see whether it was the rides or pirates that come out of the movies Peter Pan treasure planet Pirates of the Caribbean films. It's it's awesome. Well now maybe we hang out a little bit here in the atrium, make our way up to deck 12 to prepare and watch the fireworks. Everybody So 
dumb advice. Make it to where you want to be for the pirate show early. But it's not done there. This place is packed. You can obviously see there's a very popular show. You get to see fireworks on board a cruise ship, obviously. Make it early. You come seeking adventure and salty old pirates, eh? Well, you come to the proper place. Tonight, you be traveling in mysterious waters. Waters once owned by tales of plenty of pirates and the ones who hunted them. We sail with Captain Jack! Aye, and where is your fearless leader? Well, we haven't seen him since the boat ran out. Oh, well, we have plenty libations here. And with the sea belonging to us pirates, it behooves us to enjoy the drink and merriment left for those lord of the sea. Aye. Let's begin with the tradition of this celebratory song, a little ditty we call A Pirate's Life for Me.
music far better than the Mickey show earlier today. I love the uh, the, the song that they did, man. It just whose line is it anyway? I love it. So just seeing that here, I mean, yes. Uh, and the fireworks, I was expecting less. And the fireworks surprised me of how awesome they were. I think my hair says it all. <laughs> Tempting. If I wasn't in the brink of exploding, I would get it. So guys, I just wanted to let you know, if you did not know, on Pirates Night, after the fireworks, Cabanas opens for a pirate late night buffet. Now, I would show you the food, but it is absolute chaos in here right now. But there are different things. There's Whoa, there is a huge honey glazed ham that I just walked by. It looked beautiful. There are nachos, there are wraps, there are there are a huge selection of different foods and a huge selection of sweets as well. I mean, they have a whole section that's dedicated to sweets. It looks good. I would probably eat something if I was not full. I mean, uh, yeah. highly unlikely that I'll get any. I'm so sleepy. Nice. <laughs> so one of the hidden gems that I have to say about Cabanas is this. It's orange passion fruit and guava juice. It is spectacular, guys. All right, guys. Today's towel figure is this guy right here. Now, it's a pirate, but Ash pointed out something very accurate. It's actually a heartless. If you play Kingdom Hearts, you understand. But one thing that I do love about this is the gold coin chocolates. Love them so much. So guys, today was an incredibly magical day. Falmouth, Jamaica, the port was beautiful. In my opinion, the most beautiful port of the three foreign ports that we visited so far. I mean, the fireworks were spectacular. I was expecting less and it blew my mind. It really did. It surprised me and it was awesome. So yeah, let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. I wanted to elaborate a little bit more. Okay, uh, I mentioned very briefly that we got Palo brunch. Now, Palo is one of the adult restaurants on board. One of the most, how do I describe it? One of the best culinary experiences that everyone talks about on board the Disney cruise is Palo Brunch. But the problem is that it's only available on sea days and becomes insanely impossible to book, especially for first time cruisers. Before the cruise, we tried to get it. No, that did not work. Then when we stepped on board, we requested to get Palo Brunch. They put us on a wait list. They gave it to us today. The last sea day is tomorrow. It, it blew our mind. We got a notification from the Navigator app. They're like, hey, congratulations, you got Palo. And I'm like, yes. Can't wait to try it. It's all waiting for us tomorrow. But now, first things first, sleep. I'm dead tired. These bags are not just the eyeliner. I promise they are real. Thank you for being part of the Disney family and... See you real soon.